Reckless, let's go, reckless. See, reckless. This one of your um yo yo yo. See, that's the reckless I like to see. You see what I'm saying, reckless? That's the reckless I like to see. That last interview I just watched of yours, reckless. See, that's the reckless I like to see. I just hope butter and trenches news don't tell on me. I just hope butter and trenches news don't tell on me. <laughs> Shout out my vines, man. Shout out my finance. We are the best. Y'all definitely know the rest. Welcome to the Butter Show. You see what I'm saying? Welcome to the FBG Butter Show. You feel what I'm saying? Because check this out, you guys. Butter is running around here doing a lot of crazy stuff. And since they want to trend butter, well, let's trend butter. You know, because we're going to hop on that train. But the strange part about it, you know, when we get on that train, you know, it's some strange things going on, right? And you know, we're going to need that seat in the front because we're going to need to drive this train, right? And that's exactly what we're going to do. So um, I hope all of my Vons and Vonnets is having a great day. And I hope so far, so good. Good. It's going a okay. Me myself personally is going great until I jumped up and seen Mr. Butter everywhere. So guess what I'm gonna do, Butter? Since you wanna be everywhere, I'm gonna get you a show. And this show is called the FBG Butter Show. You see what I'm saying? You know that rat, that snitch, and all that stuff like that. But check this out, you guys. Let's get into the FBG Butter Show and let's see what's going on. Yes, see. Positivity on the internet will transfer over to the streets? It can. It very much can, bro. My side, me and Vaughn, Vaughn was on the earth, nigga Vaughn never had nothing bad to say about me. Oh, let me get this right, but uh, um, when Vaughn was alive, Vaughn had nothing bad to say about you. See, you run around on all these interviews, and all of a sudden now you want to bring Vaughn's name up and tell me Vaughn didn't have nothing bad to say about you, and then you go on to talk about he ain't had nothing to say about you or Kyra, right? But the strange part about the whole ordeal is this here, brother. Vaughn didn't say nothing about you, period. You tell yourself Vaughn had nothing bad to say about you. Vaughn didn't say nothing about you, period. Vaughn didn't even put you on his level, little boy. Y'all listen, y'all have never seen Vaughn go up there doing no laughs, talking about no FBG butter. No Vaughn diss, Duck Vaughn diss all the big boys. You see what I'm saying? Vaughn did never diss no FBG butter. Vaughn didn't even bring your name up. You see what I'm saying? Because Vaughn didn't shoot you and Big A didn't shoot you. You see what I'm saying? That's all a lie and that's what the government's telling you to say. And that's why I'm approving in this video, butter. You see what I'm saying? Because check this out, y'all. He's up there saying that, like, um, see, the reason why he's running with that narrative, like, Vaughn never said nothing to him. And Vaughn was cool. I heard him talking about Vaughn was trying to send him money on the books and all that. 
is that's because he's trying to really make everybody think that Vaughn was the one that did that to K.I. But I'm a proof. I already didn't prove to you that Vaughn didn't do it to K.I. Trenches News did it to K.I. And this is why him and Butter um, is all over the Internet now. Trenches News and Butter. And that's why Rico Reckless just hope. Um, trenches news and butter don't tell on him and I hope they don't tell on me either and y'all should be y'all should be hoping that they don't tell on you guys either but guess what you guys he's up there talking like he really know what Vaughn didn't even discuss your name Goofy use a little um you, you you a low man on the totem pole just put it like that you the little man on the totem pole Vaughn didn't even discuss your name Vaughn didn't pop you and Vaughn didn't pop KI so stop running around social media putting Vaughn name in your mouth because the feds got you doing it you steady up there talking about Vaughn and K Vaughn popped you and KI that's a lie. That's a lie. And not only have I proved it before, I'm going to prove it again today, Mr. Butter. Even when me and Kyrie name came up with shit with Vaughn, he ain't had shit to say bad about us, bro. He ain't had nothing to say about you, period. He just was dissing K.I. because he know they was trying to put their body on him. And that's why Vaughn laid up there and said that the, after he dissed K.I., he laid up there and said in the same song, uh, that, 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 that grandson for president, he laid up there and said, the police trying to put all these unsolved bodies on me because he know K.I. body was an unsolved body and it was done by Trenches News. And it's like I'm telling you, Vaughn didn't say nothing, but never said nothing about you. Vaughn didn't even mention you, brother. Listen, that whole three hour documentary that they, they, they got up there, only how your name got mentioned is because you was on side of K.I. You see not one tweet up there with Vaughn mentioning this clown butter. Or would you please stop it trying to make see this is what Cam Capone asking him these questions for so he can come out with a certain um, answer to him. This is why he's asking them questions, y'all. So Butter can come back with a certain answer and is trying to go along with their little narrative that um, Yvonne was the one that shot K.I. So basically Butter's trying to make it seem like this is why Vaughn wasn't dissing. Um, saying nothing about him and K.I. when he was out. Um, didn't I just tell you Vaughn was dissing K.I. in songs? You see, Vaughn was talking about K.I. He was dissing in songs because Vaughn know it was an unsolved body. You see what I'm saying? Vaughn was dissing in songs. So you're you see, Vaughn never said nothing about me and K.I.? No, he never said nothing about you, sir. And this is why you're up here trying to create this narrative for the federal government, brother. You see? Now, back to regular scheduled programs. Yeah. So it's possible, gang. Yes. So, brother, let me take a wild guess. Your handler is a woman, right? Your handler is a white lady, right? Because I can hear her over there. That's your handler, right? So if you're up here kicking all these facts and you know everything and you're so, uh, um, so in tune with the streets and you miss the FBG butter, then why is this lady telling you what to say on the interview? You see what I'm saying? Why is this lady on Cam Capone telling you what to say? And we know Cam Capone know that she's over there too. You see, why is she telling you what to say? And why is you up here trying to? Because the question he asked you, would you, do you think this internet piece will trigger off into the streets? And then you went into all that and you said it possibly can happen. And then you, then the, um, your, um, handlers start talking and told you to go on to something else and, or whatever she told you to do. And then you start trying to talk about, well, I done ran in the 757. I done seen these people, these people, these people since I've been off house arrest and nothing happened to me because you was with the DEA in the feds. And it so happened to happen when you got off house arrest. See, you was doing all the snitching and writing and you was on house arrest. So that means you was in police custody, right? Right. I done ran into a face world, all type of people, bro. You feel me? That's because you didn't ran to all type of people since you got off house arrest. No, you probably ran into those people while you was on house arrest and things like that. You see what I'm saying? When y'all was going to, uh, when y'all was getting out on house arrest in jail or getting a band put on your leg. Or it doesn't matter if you ran into them if you was um, on house arrest or off house arrest or from the get house arrest or whatever. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. What do that mean? It's a lot of people that'll see you right now and they won't do nothing to you because everybody knows 
is just the police and they scared if something happens to you, the police is somewhere nearby or you have a panic switch on you something or recording or something like that. So of course no one's gonna do nothing to you. The only people that probably will do something to you is probably the people that you are telling on their people. You see what I'm saying? The people that you're telling on their people, they might see you and feel some type of way, you know, or the BDs. You feel me? Strange. I want to get your thoughts on Keefe D being arrested for the murder of Tupac after 27 long years. See, you guys, it's, it's people like this guy right here, DJU. DJU, is you kidding me, man? See, like, why is you trying to play um, us like we're like, like like we're stupid or something? Is you serious asking Butter what do he think about the Keefe D situation, huh? Um, Butter can't tell us nothing about the Keefe D situation, you feel me? So why would you even ask him that question? Oh, is y'all up here trying to make Butter out the new, um, out this new Boosie? You know how Vlad did Boosie, so now you expect us to listen to Butter's opinion on what's going on. We can't listen to Butter's opinion, you clown. You know why? Because Mr. FBG Butter is telling for the feds and everything, and you know he's telling for the feds too, and this is why I'm saying right here on live that DJU is the feds too. Yes, DJ, you is the feds. See, it be people like this, y'all, that, 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 that ruins us as a whole because he sit up there and think he's so smart, like no one knows what's going on, but we see what's going on. There's no reason on God's green earth you should be up here doing no videos on FBG butter, this rat. You shouldn't be doing no interviews on them, period. But now you want to sit up here and incorporate the Keefe D thing in here, like butter's opinion count. I see what you're trying to kick off now. Y'all got all these videos up of butter. Yeah, butter said this. Butter said this. We asked Butter about um, Keefe D. We asked Butter. Butter is not um, the spokesman for us, sir. And you can't make him the spokesman because the more you try to make him the spokesman is the more I'm going to get on social media and say that DJU is the feds. You see what I'm saying? You're the new Vlad. You're the new Vlad clown. You're the new Vlad clown. Y'all, this clown then lost his mind, man. He, listen. Y'all, he's trying to make a mockery at you. He's trying to tell you that you have no common sense. We have a lot of common sense, and I have enough common sense to know that DJU is a DEA operative and he worked for the government. Um, Las Vegas police got a lot of their evidence from uh, perhaps interviews. You're right, and that's how the Chicago FBI and police is getting a lot of their information, too, from interviews. You know, like DJU interviews. You know, like Cam Capone interviews. You know, like Vlad TV interviews. You know, like them interviews, right? Like them interviews, right? Perfect. Bingo. That's it. And that's why I like the clown to say it right out his mouth. You see what I'm saying? Because that's the same thing that your interviews is doing. Mr. DJ, you, the clown. Oh, DJ, the feds. DJ, you, the feds. Now, that's your new name. DJ, you, the feds. I ain't gonna lie. I was there for the sex shit. This side, they try to play you like a clown. Now, you gonna say, I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna say some it. Um, guess what? You already said it. You said enough. You already said it. There's nothing else you can say. You got on DJ, you, you say Vaughn didn't um, shoot you a Kyrie. You merged it all on Tuka and everything. Then you turned around. You got on Camp Capone and said the same thing. And then you turned around. Now you on videos now talking about Vaughn did do it because this is what you said in the paperwork because now you didn't know that those um your, 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 your little federal buddies was going to snake you in trenches out. So now you coming back and say that um, basically now that it was Vaughn. You see what I'm Saying you done said everything. You too much. You got popped here. You got popped there. You got shot here. You got. Shot. Let me prove to y'all right now that butter didn't get shot. Check this out. Watch this. Last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he also wrote a book. You know, talking about the situation. He basically then confessed that he was. At Man, be quiet, DJ. You the feds. Hey, check this out, y'all. This is what I want y'all to pay attention. Pay attention to butter knees. Listen, if Butter got shot on his knees, y'all, and Butter had a cap on his knees, he had an artificial knee, Butter would not be able to bend his leg like that. No one has ever seen Butter walk with a limp. No one has ever seen none of that. Don't you know if you get your kneecap shot off and you got to get an a, a artificial knee, don't you know you will walk with some type of strange walk? Don't you know Butter wouldn't be up there bending his legs like that? Have you ever seen Butter limping? How you think you see him Butter running around on these, all these videos? videos, dancing and jumping around with, with shoot gun impersonations and all this stuff like that. You feel me? Listen, y'all. Look at this dude leg, man. Listen. Butter was not shot, y'all. I just told y'all. But listen, if Butter's lying up there, if Butter's up there lying, him and Trench's news about who shot KI and they said he's trying to put 
Vaughn, deceased, Vaughn, big A, two deceased people in the whole mix and all that. Why would we think that Butter's telling the truth about him getting shot? Listen, this is why I'm going to tell you to a 2 billion percent fact that Butter didn't get shot. Just listen to the interview when Butter, I got the video down there when Butter describing that he got shot. That's what Butter said. Butter said he went limping up the street, y'all. Listen, his kneecap's supposed to be uh, allegedly hit, took off, right? This way he lets him get shot of the kneecap. He goes limping up the street. He said he limped back in the gangway, allegedly the same gangway where they allegedly just took Ja'Kyra down there. See, it don't make sense, but guess what he said? He said he went to the hospital and he left. Come on, y'all, let's be logical. Butter gets shot on his kneecap. He said he limps up through the gangway to see where he got shot and see it was his knee. And then he said he, he hit a police coming and everything. Then he said he, um, he he got away and he went to the hospital. And he said when he got to the hospital, before the police could get there and question him, he checked himself out and left. Y'all, who's checking themselves out and leave after you after a high uh, allegedly high-powered weapon just um, just send shells through your knee, y'all. You got to listen. This is his knee. You feel me? His knee. And he keeps telling y'all he got an artificial kneecap. And the reason why he keeps saying that he got hit in the knee is because Butter knows this is a spot on his body that you just can't see because people might be saying, well, where you get shot at? He can't lift up his shirt and say his stomach or his chest or no way. He didn't get shot in the head. So they're going to use the knee, y'all. How about somebody tell Butter to show us them scars on his knee? See, listen, y'all, if you pay attention, if you get hit in your knee and you have to get an artificial kneecap, you won't be able to bend your knee. Trust me, he's going to walk with some type of limp, y'all. He's going to walk with some type of limp and you're going to know he got hit in the knee. I know people who got hit in the foot and walk with a limp. I know people who got hit in the buttocks and walk with a limp. In every part of their leg. But guess what's the most crucial part of your leg? Is the knee. Because this is where your leg bends at. You feel me? If Butter was shot, y'all, he'll be sitting there with one knee up and one down. One knee will be going straight because he won't be able to sit like that, especially not all day. I wouldn't even give care if they give him an artificial knee. He'll still have to have his leg straight for a minute because you can't just bend that leg like that. The knee is where your leg bends at. This is how I know for 100% fact Butter did not get hit. And then we can't, we got to ask ourselves that and we got to be on top of that because guess what? Um, because we know Butter is lying about who did the whole alleged thing. You see what I'm saying? We know Butter lying about who did it. So how can we believe Butter that he got hit in his knee? Butter didn't get hit in his knee, y'all. Just watch everything that Butter is on, every video. Watch watch any music video you see Butter on everything. He walking perfect, y'all. The man is walking perfect. Listen, Butter get hit in the knee, get an artificial kneecap, but don't have a cane. You see, he don't have a cane. He don't got a cane, y'all. None for him to walk with. You have seen no paperwork out. I bet you can't get no official doctor's paperwork that ever that said that Butter had surgery on his knee. Or Butter was eating. You see what I'm saying? That Butter had um, surgery on his knee. Even in the news, y'all, even on the news of the Chicago Barnes thing, it didn't say that she got um, that Butter got hit. It said that Chicago was walking up the block with a friend, another uh, another friend, and then they say she lost her life. It don't even say on there that she got. I don't even think it say. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, it don't even say on the news that Butter was shot too. It didn't say that. It just says Kai was walking with a friend and she was, uh, and then she tragically lost her life. You see what I'm saying? She got shot uh, nine times and then her mother talked. It never said nothing about a friend. Guess what? Her mother never said nothing about Butter on the news. Her mother never even said, he, she said, they got out, the impact of the bullets hit my baby so hard that she couldn't even, she 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 died right there on the porch and they showed the blood and they say she couldn't even, um, um, after the first hit, she couldn't even move, couldn't even go nowhere. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, y'all, Butter didn't get shot. He didn't get shot, y'all. Butter did not get shot, you see. Butter did not get shot, but he know definitely who who who, who shot um, Ki. He knows definitely who did it. That's why on that last DJ interview, that DJ U the Feds interview he did, he was like um, he he was like uh, he was like on Tuka Von didn't 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 do that to Ki, and he was like it was an old dude 
And then he was like, it was some old dudes. And then he paused for a minute. He was like, oh, and Aski was with him. That's Big A, right? And then on, then he goes and do the interview on Cam Capone, right? And then he was like, yeah, he was explaining how he got shot and all that. Then he was saying when it happened and all that. And then he was like, then I look up. He was like, young daddy rolled down the street. And then he was like, then dude popped up. He was like, then dude popped up. Um, you know who I'm talking about. That trench talk dude. He was like, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even call him a short. He's like, that's the old dude. He be with my mom and them because he know he did it. But check this out. Let me tell y'all who else was on the play. Young them daddy was on the play, y'all. You gotta understand, young daddy is the one who beat Duck out of all that money. But young daddy is just really taking the blame for it. Um, Duck moms was with the play too. You feel me? But I told her I wasn't going to say nothing about it. I got too much evidence on her. But I promised her I wasn't going to say nothing about it during the trial. And then I told her I got to see the outcome of the trial. But once I see the outcome of the trial, and if it ain't my way, she know I'm putting her on front street. She know it. I'm, 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 I'm letting her breathe now. But after that trial, if they slam move up now, I'm putting 50 videos to 100 videos out on them that on her that I got in the tuck. You see real videos, real videos. And this is just one piece I'm going to tell y'all about her. She's the one that told Duck that, um, that she's the one that told Duck that um, Dirk sacrificed Vaughn, that Dirk was finna sacrifice Vaughn. And this is why Duck told Vaughn that you just the body, basically do signed you over to the Illuminati. But what was the strange part was Duck didn't know that the cross was nothing about the, but the double cross and they was going to get him first. You see what I'm saying? Duck knows the organization that his mother's tied to, but uh, Duck thought that she wouldn't do him because Duck thought that he was uh, uh, um, he was good because that's his mom's, right? But Duck should have been smart enough to know um, right after, Duck, right after um, Duck told Vaughn that you just a body and basically do sign you over to the Illuminati. I told you I was going to be a snake move, a double cross on Duck because both the cases go together. Duck and Vaughn, Mama Duck, Dirk, all of them was working together. Um, duck manager and everybody. And now let me show you this here. And this is when Duck should have peaked the play. When 600 Breezy popped up right in Chicago. He wasn't in Chicago all the time. Then y'all see 600 Breezy pop up in Chicago, right? And y'all see that snippet of the video he did selling out there. He said, um, this is when Duck dropped the dead B video. And then Breezy popped up and Breezy said, um, he said something. I forgot the Zach bars right now. But this when Breezy came. Breezy had on that jersey. And Breezy was like, uh, uh, um, you took a couple, you took a couple already. Next time you, you in a box, he told him next time you in a box, he basically said duck was going to be flapping on the ground around somewhere. You see what I'm saying? And guess what y'all? It happened just like Breezy said it. Breezy called it. That's why they tried to hook that video. They was like, uh, uh-uh, um, Breezy knew that was going to happen to duck, but he did know because, um, Dirk told him. See that the whole play was, the whole play was crazy. Duck tail Vaughn that he finna go out the box because Dirk sacrificed it. Duck got the bars up there. So on social media, I got it on, I had it on a few of my videos. Duck said, you just a body. Basically, dude, dude signed you over to the Illuminati. That's what he told Vaughn. You a body. Vaughn said, I mean, Dirk signed you over to the Illuminati. And then Breezy pop up down in the rack telling Duck um, about the Dead B video. And this is what um, this is what they used to say that Duck um, went out the box. The narrative at first was the Dead B video. Then Breezy pop up in the rack. Do the little do the, do the little snippet of the video. Tell my uh uh-uh, uh you, you took a few already. The next time, boy, you in a box. You see what I'm saying? And guess what? Dark went straight in the box right after that, boy. The cross wasn't nothing but the double cross. You feel me? And it come from way up top. And, and, and it come from way up top. It come from um Lori Lightfoot was in on a play in the whole nine. I swear for God, y'all. In closing, man, I just wanna cause I wanna I, I, one last thing. What do you think about trenches news? You ever heard my song called Don't Tell Me? Yeah. You know what we heard? I said it like every song. I just told Mudder and Trench, I just told Mudder and Trench's nose, don't tell on me. I just hope they don't tell on me. <laughs> I told Mudder and Trench, I just told Mudder and Trench's nose, don't tell on me. I just hope they don't tell on me. <laughs> Cause I ain't did shit, I don't know shit, I was never there. He, he seems like he was everywhere. <laughs> he seems like he was everywhere. <laughs> 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 we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yeah, we just figured that. Just me and Carol. And then we got him. Look, tonight, look, I don't know what I did, man. Look, I ain't did nothing to you. Uh,
Yeah, Reckless, I'm with you. I just hope Butter and Trenches News don't tell on Reckless. I hope they don't tell on nobody else. I'm mad they told on the old Block 6. They told on Teasy D thing, C Murder, C thing, Teasy Tall from Phone 6. <laughs> they told on everybody. Butter told on everybody. Butter told on this Baba. Butter told on everybody. Butter go in there and tell on this Baba that my mama took some chips last week from Target when we was in there. Yep, yep that's all. That's all right. That number six. Oh, yep, that's all. Stupid. Do you guys check this out, man? Thank you, Mr. Rico Reckless, for keeping it 100, Mr. Rico Reckless. Thank you for um coming on the Vaughn, the two Vaughn's channel today to uh, uh um to help me out, sir, today on this rat FBG butter. You see what I'm saying? But you guys check this out. Mr. FBG butter was not shot, y'all. Just pay attention to it. If you got any sense, you will know. A kneecap, y'all. Trust me, man. He got an artificial kneecap. Hit the knee, y'all. But you, he don't walk with a lamp. Don't do none of that. He he checked his old self out the hospital, y'all. He said, I ain't want to do that. And so did the, the homicide come talk to you at the hospital? He said, no, nah, boy, I got up out of there before they came. So allegedly, y'all, butter is hopping around with no kneecap, y'all. He gets himself to the hospital. Why did you even go to the hospital? He got himself to the hospital, y'all. And then allegedly, he snuck up out of there before the police came. So he's running around the city of Chicago with, with no kneecap, y'all. Dang, boy, you ran around all of Chicago with no kneecap. Who fixed you up? Did you go home? Did your girl fix your little knee up and do your little surgery and give you an artificial kneecap? Nah, um, you don't have an artificial kneecap, sir, because you was not shot. And we know that because this is why you're on social media trying to blame um, the body that Trenches News did on um, King Von and Mr. Big A. But the strange part about it is you and Trenches News has been lying the whole time with all these stories and things like that and all this paperwork that you guys is coming up in. We can't believe nothing that you or Trenches News say. I'm like Rico Reckless. I just hope Trenches News and Butter don't tell on half the world because they're doing it already. Strange, isn't it? I will be back, y'all. Same bad time, same bad channel. You heard me, and I'm out. Bush is